Hi everyone, welcome to Paints Technology. We will be discussing important topic called additives for paints. In order to facilitate manufacturing, storage and satisfactory applications and to improve durability and performance, special additives are incorporated in paints. Additives are compounds added in small quantities like 0.01 to 5% by weight that substantially improve or modify physical and chemical properties of paints. Additives include wetting and dispersing agents, dryers, plasticizers, UV stabilizers, rheology modifiers, preservatives and others. This slide shows classification of paint additive based on type of binder. There are two types of additives, solvent based additives and water based additives. Additives used for solvent based paints and water based paints are different. For solvent based paint, there are three types of additives. Thixotropic agent, flow control agent and dispersing agent. Thixotropic agent is further divided as anti-sagging agent and thixotropic agent. Flow control agent is further divided as a deforming or de-aerating agent. Leveling agent or substrate weighting agent. Dispersing agent is further divided as pigment dispersing agent and anti-flooding agent. In case of water based paints, the additives are thixotropic agent, flow control agent and dispersing agent. For water based paints, thixotropic agent is anti-sagging agent, flow control agent is deforming or de-aerating agent, leveling agent or substrate weighting agent. For dispersing agent, again it is further divided pigment dispersing agent and anti-flooding agent. The additive in paint system can be broadly listed as follows. A. For paint processing. B. For improving paint application properties. C. For improving paint application properties. D. To improve storage properties. E. For improvement of performance of the film. F. For special effects. Let us discuss additives used for solvent based paints. Dryers accelerate the drying that is hardening process of paint by catalyzing the oxidation of binder. Plasticizer increase the flexibility of paints. Fungicides, biocides and insecticides prevent growth and attack of fungi, bacteria and insects. Flow control agents improve the flow properties. Deformers prevent formation and removal of air bubbles from the coatings. Emulsifiers are wetting agents increasing the colloidal stability of paints in the liquid state. UV stabilizer improves stability of paint when exposed to ultraviolet light. Various additives and their functions are discussed now. Anti-skinning agent. Skinning is the biggest nuisance in protective coatings. Skinning causes the avoidable waste of a costly coating material. Textured additives. A range of paint products with textured look can be manufactured by addition of fine aggregates or granular powder. Textured additives are used to hide minor imperfections and give pleasant appearances. Fragrance additives. Some additives are added to turn a new paint into a long lasting air freshener. These additives are mixed into paint before application to provide a subtle fragrance. Anti-fouling additive. Anti-fouling additives prevent the growth of subaquatic organisms such as algae, barnacles, etc. A paint formulated from such composition is mostly used in underwater marine surfaces. Leveling agent. Defects in paint film such as pinholes, craters, orange peel, flooding, floating, roller mass and also other surface irregularities are generally due to convection caused by evaporation of solvent, surface area, specific gravity, aggregation force and dispersion of pigment particles and also lack of uniform surface tension and flow properties of the film due to increase of paint viscosity and curing property of the resin. Wetting agents. Wetting is the first step in dispersion process. The air that surrounds the solid particle in an agglomerate must be substituted by resin. Wetting will take place when the surface tension of the liquid is low compared to the surface energy of a solid particle. Wetting will not occur when the surface tension of a liquid is too high. Further additives for manufacturing of paint. Dispersing agent or dispersants. Solid particles attract each other. For this reason, energy is needed to separate the particles from each other in the second step of the dispersion process. 
Also, solid particles must be stabilized after they have been separated from each other. The particles will move to each other and glue together again when particle-particle repulsion is insufficient. The spontaneous process of gluing together of solid particles in a liquid is called as a flocculation. The functionality of dispersant is to prevent flocculation. Adhesion promoter or coupling agent. Adhesion is the resistance of coating to be removed from the substrate. The adhesion promoter for paint is an additive to promote adhesion of the film to the substrate. Coupling agents chemically react with surface hydroxyl group of pigment. Once incorporated, they change bond between pigment and binder from physical adsorption to a covalent bond that is much more difficult to break. Scratch, mar, slip and abrasion resistant that is anti-blocking agents. Anti-blocking agent. The surface of the painted plywood can get damaged if adhesive tape is pulled off the surface or two sheets of painted surface of plywood become stuck together called blocking. The addition of a small amount of anti-blocking agent to the paint prevents paint film from being pulled off and also prevents blocking. Anti-gassing agent. Anti-gassing agent prevent gas buildup in a container in zinc rich liquid coating during storage. Anti-gassing agent minimize handling issue and extend shelf life. These are monomeric compounds. UV and light absorbers. The sun's ultraviolet light takes a several toll on painter surface when exposed to it for an extended time. UV absorbers, stabilizers and quenchers reduce this damage through a variety of actions. Using these additives offer multiple benefits for products that must stand in the sun and need to be maintained in their integrity. Different additives used for water-based paints. Paint defects are generally phenomena of interaction of various paint constituents such as solvents, resins and other additives. It depends on the interaction and surface tension of various paint constituents. The mechanism of curing and paint film forming of solvent based paints and water based paints are different. Biocides At every stage of their service lives of paint and coatings, are susceptible to contamination and degradation by variety of microorganisms. Further, the presence of water makes these paints very susceptible to microbial attack, both in wet state and dry film state. Bacteria can spoil emulsion and paint in the storage container. Coalescing agents. High boiling solvents are used as a coalescing agent to ensure the film forming in emulsion formulations. These coalescing agents improve leveling, gloss, adhesion and scratch resistance can corrosion inhibitors. Aqueous paints when packed in lacquered tin plate containers tend to cause corrosion especially internal seams and handle studs. Sodium nitrite and sodium benzoate in combination at the level of 1% can be used as a can corrosion inhibitors. Biocides To protect against the microorganism that can cause problems, paint manufacturer must commercially use biocides. Antimicrobial additives, also called as biocides, are used in paint formulation to keep bacteria away from spoiling paint during storage and to keep fungi, algae and other microorganisms from growing on the applied paint. Film protection. On application of paint film in wet condition, the algae and fungi grow onto micro irregularities of surface. They may continue to grow and spread over other areas. If the surface get wet and dry periodically, the developed algae or fungi dry out and cause black stain and well painted surface appears ugly. Insecticidal additives. Insecticides used in paint formulations which penetrate wood to protect it. Organic metallic compounds such as tributyl tin oxide, zinc octoate and copper naphthanate are used in wood care compositions. Chlorinated aromatic compounds like chloroepoxyhydroxy naphthalene, dichloro bis chlorophenyl ethane offer good insecticide effect. Thank you.